Hey everyone, Tordug here once again. And I thought today, well, I was actually felt compelled to do the State of the Early Access Update 03 kind of run through from Farthest Frontier. We've been covering this game fairly thoroughly on my channel, and uh, I play it a lot on stream. It's fantastic as a, as a little town builder. They are just impressing me every single time I see them saying that they're what, of what they're going to be doing next. It just is impressive and outstanding. Uh, first, they go over a little bit of the improvements to frame rates and things that are coming up. Uh, some of the things are going to fix with roads still hitching, uh, road placement and stuff being weird. I'm sure you know what I mean, where you're trying to go from a corner to a or make a corner on a road, but if it's not just right, it will make giant loops and do all these <laughs> weird things. Uh, stuff like that, and other improvements, frame rate improvements should be coming, you know, all the way up to release at version 1, which is fantastic to hear. The quarry is coming up soon, which is a fairly nice looking building. They, uh, I guess, do all the digging in this little hole, and put it on the crane, etc. Looks nice. It, uh, will solve our problems for the Mega Rocks. Those will be going away, I believe. And Quarry will be a new Tier 4 resource building, so we will have to still collect the rocks off the terrain, I guess, for the first three tiers, and then you get to Tier 4, and once this is built, it can mine Quarry indefinitely, which is fantastic. I like the theme that I'm seeing in this patch, uh, or this early access update, of indefinite resources, like... Being able to have a map to support your town and not have to necessarily worry about too much from the market, which leaves you much more able to buy things like uh, spice or luxury items instead of always trying to find you know this, every scrap of stone, for instance. I'm sure all of us do the same thing every time someone shows up. Do you got stone? How much? Can I have it? <laughs> that hopefully will be gone or, or minimized at least. Uh, forestries was, will be the upgrade of Tier 2, uh, or work camps to Tier 2, and uh, or to a second tier, I should say, which will allow them to replant. Villagers dedicated to planting trees will plant trees and reforest the work area. So this is much closer to what Banished did uh, for their forestry setups. It wasn't called a work camp, and they didn't do anything with stone, but they uh, would replant the trees and you would never really run out unless you really got to a high population where there was a lot of pressure on it. A lot of people it's kind of exploited that using it as a purchasing tool. You would use uh, firewood or, <laughs> or logs straight out of the forest to buy everything. It's the same thing with quarries. This is a nice solution. It's not necessarily perfect in every way. However, it's much better than what Banish did, which was let you have big giant square holes all over your map by the time you're done with the city because there was no way of doing anything with them once they were mined to emptiness, I guess. I always thought the idea of letting them be filled with water and adding fish or something to fish from or, or something like that would have been something to do or connect them to rivers as little fake lakes or something. Ponds, retention ponds. Anyways, deep mines. Like everything else, another it's the third part of the uh, indefinite series. When you get to Tier 4, you build bottomless mines that will uh, currently access clay, sand, uh, coal, gold, and iron, which is all, again, wonderful to hear that you uh, will have bottomless pits. I don't know how efficient they are, how uh, much you can get out of them, how many you can do, but it's something that help, will help you later on when you have enough problems running a thousand city, you know, with... 500 raiders or lords demanding tributes and things, you won't have to necessarily be worrying about a lot of these details. Graveyard relocation is something a lot of people wanted. It's going to cost based on the side of the graveyard, which is a fair thing. I know that they want, it says that they, they wanted it to be a special place because, you know, even to this day, people get mad if you screw around with graveyards once they're, <laughs> once they're set up. You know, digging up people's dead loved ones is not the best idea. I personally kind of like them being peppered around because it shows a bit of a story of where your town came from, how big it grew, etc. But uh, being able to move them also is a nice option. Town centers, I like how they uh, said here, people did find a way to clear the town center 
Um, this was clever use or abuse of game mechanics. It was not intended. Uh, they will allow us to move it, though. It's the same kind of thing. You can't really even see the whole map, especially if you're using large maps like I like to use. Uh, for the surface area, a lot of it isn't covered or uncovered. Or if you decide to place your town center near an edge for whatever reason of that, it will redraw the map on the side that's under the fog of war, whatever you want to call it. And there may be another reason to move it away or whatever, you don't know. So the option to be able to move it is nice. It, again, will cost based on the size or the tier of uh, of the one you're moving. Arborists finally are going to be made to replant the trees because I know I constantly during streams will <laughs> complain why are they cutting down these trees? Why are they... Well, I yeah, the trees are old. They deserve to be cut down, but why are they not planting it? They're only doing half their job. And they said they're going to get the lazy arborist to help plant the trees. You can do this. Uh, you can have automate replanting of fruit trees by default, or you can set them to not do it if you don't want to do it, or you can still cut them, uh, call them yourself if you want to move it or whatever whatever it is. But this is this is nice, so you don't have to worry about this again as you're getting into the higher end of it, and the fruit is fairly important for preserves and things. You won't necessarily need to be micromanaging all your little areas as much, which is great. Auto composting is another one. Fantastic. I've heard there's a mod that does this now, but I'm glad to see that they incorporate these types of mods into the game, which is, if it's something that is needed, you know, kind of in a broad way or a good idea, which is another indication to me these guys really care about what they're making. But it will automatically fertilize the lowest field, or you can actually toggle it to, for some reason, fertilize the highest field, or just don't at all and keep doing it yourself. My biggest gripe with this was they actually say the same thing here as your town grows. It's des desirable to have compost yards on several sides because then it's easier for the collectors to not leave you know, waste all over the place on one side because it's such a long walk. But then you're having to scroll across your town back and forth to pick up the compost. So this is a nice idea, uh, way of fixing that from happening. I also like to see uh, they say... They expect early access to go through 2023, probably. So that's another year, which is fine with me if they keep doing stuff like this. This is just amazing. They say possibly longer if they want to give you more, which they have done for Grim Dawn. Uh, I played Grim Dawn a little bit, but not that much. I don't know much about the development process there, but it's uh, my brothers loved it. So there you go. I do own it. We did play. I did play it with them a little bit. Um, but the fact that they're going to take time and they're going to do stuff when it's ready, if they come up with other things, they're going to try and add it in and all that kind of idea is fantastic. I didn't hear anything about the animals that I inquired about uh, personally. One of the devs popped into my chat, uh, but he was very evasive. You know, like, we want to do things, but not necessarily able to add stuff that they have, they have already on their board kind of deal, which is great. And then they showed some... Uh, some people's beautiful towns here. So that kind of went off track. Anyways, that's it for me. Thanks for watching, guys, and hope to enjoy testing and playing this game with you guys for the next year, I guess, until it comes out. And I can't wait to see what it actually is going to be when it finally releases, because it's pretty good already. <laughs> I don't know what they continue to upgrade and, and improve everything so much. It's going to be uh, quite a fantastic game when it's done. See you guys on the next video.